you're considering moving to Denver, Colorado in 2024, you do not want to miss this video. On this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys as a 40 year Colorado native, my three top neighborhoods for this year that I think are worth considering moving to. These are places that have a ton of popularity and interest for people that live in Denver already. However, there's also a couple kind of hidden secret spots that I'm gonna share with you. So you don't wanna miss that. Make sure you stick around till the end of the video. But as I said again today, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top three Denver neighborhoods for 2024. Right, so before we get started, as always, my name is Adam Lang. I'm a licensed realtor here in Denver, Colorado. And as much as I love making videos, just like this one you're about to watch right now, what I enjoy even more is just connecting with viewers like yourselves, people that are considering moving here to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, and just being able to connect and find out maybe a few different ways that I can provide some value. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys reach out, phone number, email, all that info's down below. And also don't forget, hit that like and that subscribe button. That way you're the first ones to be notified every single week when I release new videos about different cool parts of the city. So for today, guys, let's get started. I'm gonna be sharing with you as a 40 year Colorado native, three of my favorite neighborhoods in Denver. These are places that you definitely wanna check out if you are looking for a new place to live in Denver. So let's get started. All right, so my first place in Denver, my first neighborhood that I definitely think you need to check out is one that I have shared with you on a few other of my past videos. And that's partially just because this is such a popular part of Denver. This first one is going to be Highlands and Sloan's Lake. So if you don't know too much about Denver yet, Highlands and Sloan's Lake are on the western side of Denver. And in fact, they're just barely west of downtown. So if you're still somebody that might be commuting to work, still working in a you know typical office type setting in downtown Denver, this is an especially good option for you because of the convenience. It is literally a bike ride or a short walk from Sloan's Lake and Highlands, depending on where exactly you might be working from. So, you know, most likely you're still gonna wanna drive or just use public transportation, but just trying to make the point that you are very close to a lot of different stuff when you live in Highlands and the Sloan's Lake neighborhood. One of the reasons why I put this as my top three neighborhoods and why I'm putting it as my first of the three today is I used to live here. I lived in Sloan's Lake for about five years, just recently actually moved about six months ago to a different part of Denver. But I have a lot of knowledge and also a lot of just appreciation for this part of Denver. And I loved living there. I would live in this part of Denver again. What I really think makes uh, specifically Sloan's Lake and this Highlands part so special is for one, water. So if you're not too familiar with Denver yet, you know, we don't have a ton of natural water. We have a few different reservoirs, the biggest being Chatfield, Cherry Creek Reservoir. Washington Park has a nice, um, you know, waterfront area for their park there. And then my favorite is Sloan's Lake. So with Sloan's Lake, what's nice about it is it is about a two and a half mile loop around the lake. So it's really popular with people height, uh, people running, walking their dogs, just enjoying taking a lap around the lake. So it's so convenient and where it's located is just, it's just part of your daily routine after a while. So when you live in this part of Sloan's Lake and Highlands, it's just so convenient every day if you want to, you know, make a goal of, you know, doing the loop once a day or, you know, three times a week, whatever it may be. But I just loved always having it so conveniently located right out my back door so I could get in my little bit of extra exercise with my dog and just, you know, enjoy just having that availability without having to get in my car and go drive for 15 or 20 minutes to a park. One of the reasons why I really like Sloan's Lake is the actual lake. So that's one of the reasons. Another big reason though, why I love this part and it's more specific here to real estate. This is a part of Denver that continues to be incredibly popular. And if you are able to find a home that meets your budget and what your needs are, what's great about that is you just have some confidence as opposed to other parts of Denver, where you just know that this is always going to be a very high demand part of town. So as long as you can find a, you know, a deal that makes sense with everything that you're looking for. You have that just sense of peace knowing that when and if the day ever comes that you wanna sell that home, you're gonna have a line of people interested in your home just because so many people realize that this is such a special part of Denver to live in. So you just have a very high 
resale value, a lot of opportunity to, you know, potentially make little improvements to your home and add value to then when the time does come to sell, get top dollar for your property. That would be another reason why Highlands and Sloan's Lake are just great parts of Denver to consider living in. Continuing on what I just said about this being a very popular part of Denver, the last thing about Highlands and Sloan's that I will mention is a few weeks ago, Zillow actually came out with an article. In fact, I'm gonna highlight a video I recently premiered on my YouTube channel just the other day about this article where they had the top five zip codes within Denver. These are the highest price per square foot parts of Denver. And believe it or not, at right at the top of this list, just after number one, which was Union Station, which is like downtown Denver, right after that was this Highlands and Sloan Lake neighborhood. So I bring that up just to give you some perspective on the cost of this part of Denver can be quite high. However, it's a very old part of Denver. So there's a lot of streets that have homes that are built in the you know, late 1800s even, or early 1900s. A lot of those types of homes we call bungalows. And these are just single story, typically like a two bedroom, one bath brick house. It's a bungalow, usually about, you know, a thousand to maybe 1500 square feet, but typically like a thousand to maybe 1200 square feet. And these bungalows are great because if you can find some that have yet been in, uh, improved and renovated, you're able to still find some of these deals out there where there's a lot of value add opportunities. So if you're good with your hands, maybe you're looking for a project type investment house where you can do some of the work yourself, or at least save a little bit on the front end by buying a home that's needing a lot of improvements and updates, this is a great option for you. Just you got to find the right deal because there are a lot of eyeballs on this area. So they're not quite as common nowadays as they used to be, but just wanted to let you know that there are still opportunities out there. So Sloan's Lake Highlands, definitely one of my top three neighborhoods in Denver for 2024. Pausing the video for two seconds, just want to remind you, my name is Adam Lang. I'm a licensed realtor here in Denver, Colorado. Love connecting with viewers just like yourselves, providing value in any way that I can. So that phone number, email, all that info that's popping up down below. We'd love to connect with you, so please reach out. And don't forget that like and that subscribe button. Hit that as well, please. Every week, I have new videos just like this. I want to make sure you're the first ones to receive them. But for now, let's get back to the rest of the video. All right, so going right into my second. So my second favorite neighborhood in 2024 that I think has a ton of great value and just great opportunity is an area called Erie Highlands. So Erie is an area that back in the day when I grew up in Denver, I did not know anything about Erie. And in fact, I thought it was just plains, just flat land on the north and east side, or really just kind of the north side of Denver. And what I've just come to realize since being a realtor and starting to just really be intentional about knowing all parts of town is Erie is really, really up and coming. A ton of different stuff going on over this part of town. It's on the northern side of Denver. And what I love about Erie Highlands specifically is it's this really cool neighborhood that was in a sense master plan. And what I mean by that is they had some intentionality behind having where the school is located. It's built with the school in the center with these great new neighborhoods being built directly around the school. What's so cool about this is if you are a family or you have you know, young kiddos that are needing to go to and from the home to school on a daily basis, you're so close that in a lot of scenarios, they're able just to walk out your front door and literally within five minutes be at school. So close that they don't need to get on a school bus or if they need to, I mean, it's literally a one or a two minute school bus ride. And I just think that's so rare compared with a lot of parts of Denver. You really start to search around town and look into the different parts of Denver and the different neighborhoods and what school are available in those neighborhoods, it's pretty rare to find something as unique and special as Erie Highlands, where it really is just such a confined area, a very controlled environment where you're not going to have people, you know, just driving through the area, commuting to and from, you know, their jobs and trying to take shortcuts to get, you know, maybe to a part of town that they want to get to a little bit quicker. It really is isolated and in a way just developed and built with, I think with that purposefully in mind, just to create this community in and of itself. So Erie Highlands, first and foremost, if you are a family or somebody that's considering a part of town that has that feature to it, with just the school being a big integral part of the community, definitely check out Erie Highlands. I think it's one of the best in all of Denver when it comes to that. One last thing that I'll mention when it comes to schools and that side of things is Erie in general. So not Erie Highlands, 
Island specifically, but just the overall area of Erie has a few different school districts that it's composed of. Some of these little nooks and crannies of Erie are actually part of the Boulder School District. That would be some of the parts of Erie that are on the western side. And Boulder School Districts are actually rated at the very, very top in all of Denver. In fact, there have always been probably in the top two, if not top three. And that's just you know, something that's been the case for a very long time. And even though you're not actually in Boulder, Erie does have a few little pockets where you're part of that school district. So, you know, something to consider if you do have a family and you just want to be in an area that has the best education possible for your kiddos. Um, however, in addition to Boulder School District, another part of Erie also is still a pretty highly ranked uh, school district, which is 27J. Adams County has um, a few different school districts within them, but one of the websites that I frequently recommend to my customers is niche.com, and niche.com always has, you know, these school districts pretty high on their list. So I think that, you know, that's pretty important, obviously, for a lot of families, and it's good to know that Erie Highlands and Erie in general just has some good options for you. And the last thing I'll say about Erie and Erie Highlands specifically is just how much I really am impressed with their new construction home builders. So since this is, as I mentioned, an area that's really just been up and coming in the last 20 years, you know, you're seeing a lot of the available homes in Erie are newer construction homes. You know, everybody has their take on this, pros, cons, you know, what they like about new build communities, what they don't. A couple real quick examples of what you might want to consider when thinking about new construction. Some pros are, for one, all the homes typically are newer. They look a little bit cleaner. There's not a bunch of junk in the driveway or in the front lawn. You know, they've got a little bit better landscaping. A lot of times, some of these nat uh, new home builder communities are even taking care of the front lawns and the front landscaping as part of the HOA. And also, I think that typically the streets are a bit wider. You're going to have a little bit more space around you. And most new build communities do have some sense of master plan community where you're gonna have trails, parks, some of that other stuff that you're not gonna find in an older neighborhood, such as even my number one example of Sloan's Lake and Highlands. So, you know, there's still obviously options no matter where you look in Denver, but I think with Erie, what I really like about these new construction communities is that everything is just newer and just feels a little bit more clean and just up to date. And I like that. If you are buying a new construction home, just be aware that there are some sometimes some costs that you might not be expecting. You know, typically new build construction homes do not include a refrigerator, a washer dryer. They typically do not include any sort of window coverings or landscaping in the back of the home. So those four things are all additional expenses you need to be accounting for if you are buying a new construction home. And that's not just for Erie, that's for anywhere pretty much in the United States. So just a little tip for you if you are considering new construction. And if you are you know, looking for new construction or really just interested in buying in general, I've got this 27 page buyer's guide completely free and I'd love to send you a copy. Just uh, hit the comment down below of this video and I'll reach out back to you and I'll get your info and I'll send you a copy. But lots of good material in here to just give you uh, different tips about new construction homes, typical negotiating skills, what the process is of buying a home, all that good stuff. So love to share this with you, let me know. All right, and then my third and final neighborhood for 2024 that I think is a must see, definitely a place you need to check out. And this is gonna be down south. This one's called Grant Ranch. And I saved the best for last, at least in my humble opinion. This is actually where I moved to from Sloan's Lake. Now I live down south in Grant Ranch. And this is an area that I never really knew about as a kid growing up in Denver. And I have just been blown away at just how special of an area this is. So, you know, earlier I talked about one of the benefits of Sloan Lake and Highlands being that you have the lake, the water there. What's great about Grant Ranch, you have the same thing, except this one is private. It's a, it's a reservoir, Grant Ranch, uh, just basically surrounds uh, this reservoir that you're able to use as a community member and you can you know go out on paddle boats pontoon boat uh, they have specific even neighborhoods within great ranch where if you live in that neighborhood there's a private dock with you can have your own pontoon boat that can you know just go out and enjoy sunsets in the evening with but no matter where who you are where you live in great ranch you can all, always go out though on your paddleboard kayaks um you know all that kind of stuff so definitely just love that feature of great ranch and i also just love the idea of the master plan community how you just have all of this intentionality again behind the sidewalks, the different walking trails. Everything just is so well kept. Everything is just clean and, you know, there's just no 
garbage. There's no, just everything is just very pristine. And I love that. And it's something that I didn't really take into consideration or appreciate until I was here living and enjoying it on a daily basis on my afternoon walks with my dog or just taking, a, you know, getting some exercise, taking a break from work and just enjoying all these different trails. And nobody's ever on them. If they're always practically empty, you occasionally see a friendly face and say hello and just kind of keep going. But that's just something that I was very unaccustomed to when living in the Sloan Lake Highlands area where you just have so much volume of people that you're not seeing the same faces nearly as often and you just don't have that same sense of community as you do within Grant Ranch. So I think that's one of those hidden gems of certain parts of Denver. And I think Grant Ranch is top of the list when it comes to that as far as just this community feel of a neighborhood. You know, they've got a great clubhouse, all kinds of activities, pickleball courts, just all these different things you can do if you are a part of the Great Ranch community. So really, really love living over here. And I just uh, implore you, if you're considering the southern side of Denver, taking a look at Great Ranch because it's awesome. All right, well, there you have it. My top three neighborhoods for 2024 here in Denver. Just as a quick recap, number one, in no particular order, by the way, but in number one, Highlands and Sloan's Lake Number two, talking about Erie and Erie Highlands. And then number three, Grant Ranch down here on the southern side of Denver in that Littleton area of Denver. So all three of these are phenomenal places to consider. I tried to give you a well-rounded uh, collection of three to choose from. There's one up north, which would be Erie. There's one kind of centralized, which was Highlands and Sloan's Lake. And then you got one further down south near Littleton, Grant Ranch. So all three of these are unique and special in their own ways. And depending on what you're looking for, I bet you one of these would probably fit a lot of those boxes that you're looking for as well. So again, guys, though, more than anything, I just love sharing videos like this with you on a weekly basis and just connecting, hopefully finding a few different ways that I can provide value to you. So when that day comes that you are considering moving to Denver, or just you know finding a new place that if you already live in Denver, just looking for a new place, hopefully I can be somebody that you can connect with and I can just um, help out in any way that I can. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button before you leave today. I'd love to share with you guys every single video as soon as it comes out. But until next week, I just hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you then. Talk to you later, bye.